Did Team Biden win the election using votes or magic math? Red State asserts that it was the latter. And this is a brief that I wrote called The Biden Election May Be More Magic Math Than Votes. Biden U.S. Election Fraud Denial Arizona Adjudication. That's the key phrase we're looking for. Yeah, that's what we do. Our stance here at the Freedomist regarding the election is that it was, well, I mean, it was a mass mailer election. So what are you going to take from a mass mailer election? That, that's the end stop right there. This, I think, is where the Republicans made the mistake. They should have just sued the government for having a mass mailer election instead of trying to go through all the areas to prove. Was there an actual fraud that took place in, in the part of the election that happened as a result of a mass mailer election? I'm not here to dispute that one way or another. Uh, but I'm just going to point out that uh, it's, a, it's a problem that's not going away. No matter how much the corporate state nationalists want it to go away, no matter how much uh, the corporate state nationalists want to try to lock people out from talking about it, it's just, it's just not happening. And we at the Freedomist, we're, if, if we really believe there was total easy-to-see fraud, we would tell you that. But uh, we're certainly not going to not talk about it just because our corporate state nationalists tell us we're not allowed to. Matter of fact, usually we're going to talk about something because they tell us we can't. Not, not always. We're not. Where you can't you can't get us with that for first psychology stuff, get us to do whatever you want. But in general, we're if you tell us not to do it, well yeah, we're gonna do it because we're freedomists. We we submit to the king, Christ, and as far as the civic goes, we submit to the king of this land, which is the Bill of Rights. But even the Bill of Rights is limited by Christ. So so there you go. This fact alone, as I said, calls into question the legitimacy of the election. But in terms of the reality of power this is what I want my, especially our conservative friends. We do have folks from multiple backgrounds that follow us and listen to us and have supported us, but we have a f significant portion of conservatives. And this is what I want to get across to my conservative friends. The Biden administration is in charge and won't be surrendering power anytime soon. Still, it bears taking in the climate that we live in where posting dissenting views is now considered anti-democratic. When And I have more on that later in another story that we're going to cover. And when the underlying principle of democracy is supposedly liberty, a liberty defined by the Bill of Rights. As a matter of fact, the United States was created in a spirit of absolute dissent from the British government. It was created with a revolutionary spirit. Protest is a national sport in America, and it has been since its inception. And so now for you folks to suddenly come out and say suddenly that, that merely questioning the election is some sort of extremist rhetoric that should be uh, taken off, that some, well, we'll get into that in another story. I, I don't want to go too much into that because I want to save it for later to show. That way you, you, watch, you keep watching, you know. It's what you do. It's what you do. This item from Red State purports to show how Team Biden might have pulled off the biggest scam in U.S. history using a process called adjudication to create votes out of thin air. I'm not saying whether this is true or whether it's not true, but I am saying it's certainly worth a look, worth a ponder. And I just took this one excerpt, which we're going to go to the link and I'm going to show it to you here. Uh, from Red State, as the table shows, which I will show, don't worry, Biden received over 15 million more votes than Hillary Clinton did, while President Trump exceeded his 2016 vote total by over 11 million votes, unprecedented for a presidential re-election campaign, in which he also received the highest percentage of non-white votes of any Republican candidate since 1960. The Democrat popular vote margin over President Trump increased by 4.2 million votes from 2016 to 2020, while the WIMP, W-I-M-P vote from 20, I don't know what that is, from 2016 to 2020 decreased by nearly the same amount, 4.3 million. The similarity of the numbers is highly suspicious. So we can go in here. WIMP did, did adjudicate, I don't know what WIMP means, W-I-M-P. All eyes are on the ongoing, ongoing forensic audit in Arizona, despite fierce Democrat resistance. And I know they recently had a judge that said the audit, audit can go forward. Other audits are likely in Georgia, New Hampshire, and Wisconsin. Should be in Pennsylvania, too. Should be in Michigan as well. 
If, but is the but is there something else that has been overlooked in the frenzy to investigate or suppress, depending on one's political persuasions, claims of election irregularities during the 2020 election? Retired senior Department of Defense analyst Ray Bihar has examined an underreported election story pertaining to write-in and minority and minor party ballots votes. His investigation has resulted in some startling conclusions and a working theory that Biden's margin of victory in several key states could have been provided by shifting write-in and minor party ballots through ballot adjudication. So that's what we're talking about, ballot adjudication. And I'll get down to to this table that I would I would I would let you see. So here you see the the major and then the wimp. So the wimp I guess is the 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 minor party. So the wimp lost votes just coincidentally 4.32 million while you see there the margin of victory there 4.1 so so was there there a shift there and th th this is uh, the the decrease so did they really decrease by 4.3 million or were they shifted over that's the theory that's what they're looking at and and again I just want to say for me I don't really think that and this is just my opinion just 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 so Paul's opinion y'all can take it however you want but for me, the, the battle is really over the fact that the U.S. government, a federal republic, this is a federal republic, decided to certify, in a, well, to carry out an election in the first place using a mass mailer election model, mass mailer election, and then certified a mass mailer election. That to me is is it caused the whole question, uh, the whole election into doubt. And I'm not saying whether Trump would have won or Biden would have won or who would have won, but there's no election. There's no election that happened. In my eyes, no election happened. I respect the reality of power. So if federal officials show up with guns, I'm not going to say you're not my president because Biden is my president. I don't want him to be. I don't know if I really want a president in the first place, but I don't want him to be. But the reality of power is that he is. And so I, I respect the reality of power because I want to I want to live. And now I only respect it so far. I won't deny Christ. I won't do anything that caused me to deny Christ. But outside of that, I respect the reality of power. And I would really hope that that the folks out there, whether you're conservative or libertarian or, or, or plenty of Democrats that are in this camp as well, or if you're like me, you're an unaffiliated, I, I'm kind of a, a, a small little subset within this whole group, this whole resistance to the DNC corporate nationalist machine. If you're in that group, I would urge you maybe to shift tactics from trying to adjudicate this election in terms of how it was actually conducted in on on November whatever November third whatever the date was, and then how it was certified on January sixth. Well, really, that's the thing. January sixth is the date. January sixth, you certified a mass mailer election. You have no standing, and that should be the focus. And I think I'll end this segment there. We got more on this a little bit later, so keep watching. And if you're just watching the short, make sure you watch the replay, which was aired on the the Black and Gold Freedomist channel. Do a search for YouTube and. Do a filter for channels. You'll see the white and gold and the black and gold channels there.